Hey, welcome to Kidlit TV. I'm children's author Angie Karcher and this is Miss Angie's Craft Time. Today we're going to be doing a simple craft that goes along with the adorable picture book written and illustrated by author Leslie Holokoski called Hoot and Honk Just Can't Sleep. So this is what we're going to be making. This is Honk and this is Hoot. And in the story, the eggs get switched into different nests before the birds are born, and both of them have trouble sleeping, and you have to listen or read the story and find out why they can't sleep. So you're gonna need a few things before we get started. First, you're gonna need a pair of scissors, a hole punch, a glue stick, a blue or black marker or crayon, a pencil or you could even use a, a straw if you have a straw around the house. Pipe cleaner. I picked orange because that's going to match the color of the bird's feet but you can use any color. And you're also going to need a, a file folder or some sort of lightweight cardboard. Um, a cereal box would work. Any type, of, any type of lightweight cardboard but something a little bit heavier than paper. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of the page, uh, the back page of Hoot and Honk, and you're going to photocopy and color the back page. And what you'll get is you'll get images of Hoot and Honk. So you want to cut them out. Um, you want to cut a, an oval around both of them that is about the same size, and get those cut out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trace that oval onto a file folder. And we're gonna cut that out, okay. And so we have the oval from the file folder. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue Hoot and Honk onto the cardboard. So I'm gonna get my glue stick going here. All right, we've got Hoot on there. There's Hoot. And you want them both facing up. So if I've got hoot this way, we're gonna put honk facing the same way on the back side of the cardboard. So now we've got honk on there. Okay, make sure they're glued on. You want to give them a little bit of time to dry. So after you've got them glued on, now you're gonna use your marker or your crayon um, because Hoot sleeps in the daytime, but Honk sleeps at night. And so we're going to color all, and I've done that already, but I'll finish up a little bit. We're gonna color around the edge of the outside of him so that it looks like he's sleeping during the nighttime. Okay, so next you're gonna take your hole punch, and boys and girls, if you need help with the cutting or with the hole punching, just ask an adult that should be near um, and you're gonna punch a hole through the cardboard and the paper. You're gonna do it right where the bird's feet are, just about this far up from the edge. Not too far. And then of course it's the same on the other side. And you're going to take your pipe cleaner and we're gonna just cut it in half to start out because we won't need quite that much. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread the pipe cleaner through one of the holes and we're going to fasten it around the pencil and then just give it a good twist and then we're going to do the same thing with the other hole thread the pipe cleaner through there wrap it around the pencil and give it a twist okay and now i'm going to cut off any excess of the pipe cleaner that we don't need um, and of course, sometimes the ends of those pipe cleaners get a little sharp, so you might want to bend them up just so that sharp point is not sticking out. And then what you want to do so that it doesn't slip is you want to just give the pipe cleaner a really good pinch right there around the feet, and that will keep it tight. So now we have Hoot is sleeping during the day and Honk is sleeping at night. So next you wanna watch um, the, the link, cl click the link for where Leslie Helikoski is reading Hoot and Honk Just Can't Sleep, and then you can make this craft to go along with the story. 
Thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time on Miss Angie's Craft Time on Kidlit TV.